I don't know what it is about Lowe's and wanting to protect Karens, but today's Karen story really is something. This Karen has a worker from Lowe's at her house. He's supposed to be doing something and his boss has told him that he needs to leave for whatever reason. But this Karen won't let him out of the house, literally blocks him, locks him in the house. We're gonna watch this initial Karen video, but then there's more context and information about this story. So if you want the full story, make sure you watch until the end. So I definitely have to leave. No, I got kidnapped no. today. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> I plumber, definitely have to leave. The plumber is on his way. You wait. No. I'm sorry, but- Because first of all, window of opportunity for delivery is eight to five. It's gotcha. not even eight o'clock yet. Okay, yeah. So you're waiting for that 15 minutes that you were here early. I got, be, okay, no. listen, I have 15 deliveries today, 220 miles. You'll just have to call those and reschedule with I them. I am not. There's nothing I can do about it. You are I, staying. I'm not in charge here. Unload, I have, I have the superiors. Appliances. I have superiors I have to listen unload to. Unload the appliances. Okay. Because you're going to leave those anyway. Yeah, that's fine. I can unload them and leave them here. And you're going to be stacking them. Yes. Okay. I can see, I can stack them real quick. This guy is so polite and patient with this person. I would not be able to handle this like he is. I see this all the time. There's these people, they're filming a Karen and they're so nice and patient. And I'm just like, how? Also, do you sense her entitlement? You're going to be stacking them. You're unloading it. She wants to be the boss. She wants to be in charge, dude. Typical Karen behavior. We'll take and get it all, you know, get it all put up and we'll get it in that room. The plumber is on his way. He's got to cut two little pipes, cap them, and he'll be out. Yeah, I understand your concern here and whatnot, and you want this done, but that's You not... guys can't give me a okay, window of well, time. Listen, no, this You're is You're early. Thing. Listen, this is what I'm telling you. I'm not okay. calling and rescheduling. I've been, I've been I have very, had to take time been... off from work. I think I get the picture of what's going on here. <laughs> get out of my face, hair. Sorry about that. So this Karen has two different, like, people coming in to try and get this job done perfectly and it's not coming together the way she wanted so she's trying to inconvenience this guy and his boss is telling him he's not allowed to wait for this plumber to do this job because he has other deliveries to make so it has to get rescheduled and that's inconvenient for karen i mean that would be annoying but what are you gonna do entrap someone in your house working with that. the store I understand multiple that. that's, times I understand that. you are not going okay I, that is i understand that but you cannot tell me that i'm not leaving your house my boss informed me to leave your house, so that's just what I have to do. It's Get nothing personal. It's nothing personal. I don't have to have him on the phone. You're not going anywhere. Okay, well, I'm going His to leave patience. your house. No. Okay. It's fleeting. And at this point, you've already put me in a threatened situation where I don't feel comfortable. I so... work for the police department, honey. Okay, that's honey. fine, what? honey. You can't lock me in your house. Honey. You guys so are leaving. early. Okay. It is not even Thank time you. yet for you Thank to take you. and be here. You need to step out of my way. No. Okay, I'm telling you, I'm gonna call the police. Call 911. Okay, oh, so if you don't camera. move, Somewhere I'm else. going to force my way out of your home. Call 911. Okay. Girl, that's literally entrapment. I don't know what this Karen thinks she's doing, but the frustrating part of this story is that this guy actually got fired. Here's a conversation with him and his boss. I got fired for not taking the video down. A customer could sue you, like for putting her personal information online without consent. Okay. I definitely, I fully understand where where you are coming from, Anna, because nobody has the right to keep you in their home, especially under those circumstances. Like you're not their children, you know, or anything like that. So I fully understand, and I want my drivers to record. You know what I mean? But send it to me. Don't put it on social media. You know. So, like I said, to prevent, I don't want anybody to get sued in this situation or or anything like that. So I, I have to have that video to come down like right now. Okay, so what personal information of hers did I put online? That's what I'm wondering. So, well, you, um, I mean, number one, you recorded her without her consent and then put it on social media. And two, there's a load, the, the whole time you can see the loading ticket on the screen. You know what I mean? So if anybody can pause that video and zoom in, that customer could get death threats sent to her house, to her phone. Because, I mean, there's there's over a thousand comments on there already about, you know, how shipping and this, that, and the other. So, um... You know, if the customer, especially if she is in with the police department like she says she is, then she could technically sue you for, for that, for not getting her consent and listing that information online. So, I mean, his boss is being really polite, but I'm not sure how true things are that what she's saying. It depends on where you are in the world. But there's some laws that exist, I don't know if they apply here, where you can't film in someone else's home. However, 
the circumstances are this person not leaving, so he needs to film for evidence. Publishing it online after the fact, I don't know what the legality is there, so maybe he can get sued, you know? But I mean, that would be the worst thing because us, the internet, will just back this guy up and we'll all know who Karen is, so it'd be the worst decision she could possibly make. Anyways, let's hear the rest of what this boss has to say. Okay, so can you, can you take that video down right now, please? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Corey. Sorry to interrupt. Before we continue, I want to talk about today's sponsor, me. I sponsor these goddamn videos. I'm doing a merch giveaway. Instead of getting money from a company, I'm taking my stuff and giving it away. If you click the link down in the description or in the comments, it should take you to this giveaway where you can enter to get some Papa Stanimus merch. This is a new idea. I'm thinking about doing it every week. We'll see how it goes. Also, shout out to my gaming community, Game Rebel, repping the Game Rebel clan today. Love you guys. You're awesome. All right, let's get with the video. All right, so they just wanted him to take the video down. I'm not sure if that sits right with me. I don't know why they would want that taken down. At least maybe the information can be blurred out like we did here on this channel. He didn't delete the video and they fired him. And then what happened next is even crazier. I can't believe how much this escalated just because of a TikTok upload. Apparently my company's trying to sue me and they're not like gonna help me with the whole lady kidnapping me thing. So this is, this is... This is freaking crazy. What the hell, Lowe's? You guys are suing this man? The boss was so worried about the lady suing him, but nah, it's Lowe's that's gonna sue him if he doesn't take the video down. Has Lowe's ever heard of the Streisand effect? This is not making them look good, especially with that other Karen video that just came out where the manager was like protecting a Karen. Definitely go check that out if you haven't seen it. I'm like actually pretty nervous about it. I feel like they're, they're, they're I guess they're trying to sue me because I posted the videos on TikTok whatever all right i never Which signed any papers that said that i couldn't post anything online so as far as i as far as i know unless they like you know unless they fooled me but uh yeah so that's what we're looking at now so i had to take the videos down um i'm definitely gonna start a gofundme because i don't know what they're gonna do to me but like i definitely need an attorney and Money's a little short uh, due to being fired. That's unbelievable. And I actually want to kind of take a stand here and help this guy out since I do have a little bit of an audience. So I'm going to ask you guys that want to participate, find my tweet. I'll put a link down in the comments. Here's this tweet. Share this tweet around at tag Lowe's. And we want to let everybody know that Lowe's is suing their own person for something that he did to protect himself. It's so not fair that he's being sued for protecting himself. I'm hoping that with the pressure from us, Lowe's won't sue their own guy because it'll just make things worse for themselves, cost them way more money and cause more issues than they could possibly ever want. But if they do decide to sue this guy and this guy needs to set up a GoFundMe, I will be linking to that. There's nothing yet, but if there is and there's an issue, yeah. Anyways, guys, that's what we know so far. Thank you very much for watching and that's pretty much it. See ya.